Monami died, so I'm very curious how this is going to continue. No, oh, I wanted hard. Shit. Stop hurting me. Oh, I got tired. No, oh, it's not the same button then. Okay, so I was right when I said that the button is not the same as the logic jump. Oh no, I got the hiccups. Oh wait, we have three. No! See? Not dogs barking. I just want to play the game. I just want to know what happens next. Oh. Um. Wave 7. I left them like they were frightened. Whoops. Eh. 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 No. No. Where are you right now, Mommy? I thought you died. With Chiaki, which is still extremely depressing. No. Thank you. Oh, there's more. Okay. <laughs> there you are. Oh my god. Dozer! Nine. Okay. 
bullets, man. Are you serious? I just got it. Oh, these bullets are pissing me off. I just want to go in the circle. Thank you. Thank you. There's more. Uh. On the robot, not the bullet. Oh my gosh, it's be hurt. Hey. There we go. He's back. You next. Nope. Get him. Ah, the controls are a little finicky. There we go. Okay. No, I finished the circle. Ah. No. No, 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 no. Ah. Seven C oh, rod. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Final wave. Who am I fighting now? Who are you? The Monokumas is one. Or not the Monokumas. Sorry, the Mono Beast and the Transformer connected together. No, this guy was his own dude. That's it? Okay. Well, that was fine. Stage clear. Chapter Zero. Heading to the school trip. What? It would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. The shaking was quite irregular, just when you thought it was a series of small shakes. It would suddenly shake violently. And every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect would be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. Why is that? But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's why I was expect that's what I was expecting. For me, a person who was loved by talent. Detecting irregularities among irregularities won't be that difficult. Uh, how boring. Oh, Nagito! Do you like ships? On the other side of the dark room I heard a voice. It was clearly directed at me. <laughs> you look like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Ships. Ah, that's right. That's it. So this is a ship. Huh. You just realized that now? Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The silence was starting to bore me. Instantly I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude, the friendly smile. But under that thin skin I could detect a foul, offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put this? It was a smell of exclusive to it was a smell exclusive to those who were already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito Kamaeda. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me, so to share a room with a person like that? Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? Ah, uh, so that's your talent then. What a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. 
But for someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly, that's because I have luck as well. Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. But possess huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Hope's Peak Academy too, right? So you're one of us? Uh, but that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is so full of boring people. People who lack talent stick together and impress those who do not possess talent. Even though they know that they are insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. How boring. While the world is shaped by the will of the majority, it makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. Uh, perhaps. Does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to the world, not even a speck of dust. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they had a high expectation for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But why are you planning- what are you planning to do? Now that you've ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well, using people is a talent too. It is now my turn to see- to use that person just as they used me in the past. That person? Are you talking about the ultimate despair? But how? I mean, they're already Junko, right? You mean Junko? I have it with me. The contribution that person left to me, even now, it rests in my pocket. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Then, will I be able to see her again? Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? And this time... Will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? Hate? Then, explain your hand. Ah, uh, this? The end of that bandage. Is a woman's hand, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Isn't it amazing? I, can, I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand, after all. But even now, it still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. Is that Junko's hand? I see, so you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. Uh, I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as an enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy, because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power. And for that, I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Huh, that's strange. Huh? Ah, uh, look out the window. We're finally here. You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's going to happen on that island once you get there. What's going to happen? Oh, what's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know because I am loved by talent. But, no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Mm -hmm. Really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. So the, whoever you're talking to is the person you were looking for... when we were first starting Chapter 5. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Okay. So that was a prequel to us arriving to the island. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda convinced we were in some kind of computer thing. Everything was very digitized and glitchy. Huh? What is this? Yeah, see, this is this was the beginning. This is it's a door. There's a door. Huh? A door? Why is the door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? So was that actually the boat? Okay, we're starting over, I guess? 
Bet no one's here. Huh? I isn't this a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else. And I arrived in a place that looked like a trial ground, but then why? It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before, when we were all gathered in that classroom just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island. But where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabberwock Island? Hello? So yeah, all the glitchy stuff. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately. That was the beginning of the first game. When everyone was at the entrance. Huh? Did he say what I think he just said? Yes, he definitely said it. He said, welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. But why would this place be Hope's Peak Academy? And not just that, what is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? This clock doesn't have any hands. A clock without hands is meaningless. Why would something like this be in a classroom? Does this monitor serve the same purpose as the monitors on the island? If so, this would be under Monokuma's supervision, right? Is this place really Hope's Peak Academy? Damn it, what's going on? What is this? In a normal classroom, there'd be a window, but instead, there's this iron plate bolted here. When I tried knocking on it with my fist, it looks like it's pretty thick iron plate. Is this to keep us trapped? What the heck? This place where iron bar or iron plates are covering the windows inside the classroom? Is it really Hope's Peak Academy? This is a surveillance camera. Why would there be a surveillance camera inside the school? I wonder, does this have the same purpose as the surveillance cameras on Jabberwock Island? If so, who's watching us? Is it whoever's called trolling Mon Monokuma? Well, apparently Nagito's had her hand. Leave here? Yes. Oh, this is weird. Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place the Hope's Peak Academy that I've been admired for, that I've admired for so long? It's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the fun house. That's right, it's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Now go, and I'll definitely clear things up. Yeah, we can't go that way due to glitchy stuff. We can't go in there due to glitchy stuff, and that's where I came from. That's where the trial room is. This is the exact same first floor as before. What is that? One second, I want to get a better look at that. It's like an eye. Whose eye? Whose eye is that? It looks familiar, but maybe I'm just feeling weird. Who would that have been? I don't know. Okay. The store is all blocked out. I can't get my mono stuff. I can't see the entrance, which is where we would have been. Well, that's all grayed out. I cannot go to the bathroom. All right, here's the gym. The gymnasium is here, right? All right, I'm going inside. Something might be waiting, but I'm not gonna cower away anymore. And so, I braced myself and cautiously opened the door. The glitches again. Why? Chapter six, this is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. Okay. I wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. P what about the middle room? There's a middle room. It was a normal gymnasium. Damn right. Yo, how's you, May? Yo. You heard the announcement and came here too. You guys did too, right? What's going on? Hey, what do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Hope's Peak Academy or something? That is. That cannot be possible. 
Well, you're right. Yeah. Any way you look at it, it's impossible. <laughs> Hello. How does it feel to return to long-awaited Hope's Peak Academy? Why, you. 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 Hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? What a shock. I just told you guys this is Hope's Peak Academy. Of course not. There's no way in hell that's true. No, no. No, but it is. I mean, it's definitely Hope's Peak Academy. Well, that what's left of it anyway. What's left of it? Well, what? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Hope's Peak Academy fell to ruin. Lies. You're serious about that? I don't believe it. Mm. But of course it fell to ruin. I mean, they were doing things that they deserved to be ruined for. What do you mean? I don't like this. Anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. I went to all this trouble to bring you to Hope's Peak Academy and you don't even feel surprised or nostalgic. Fine, fine. Oh, wow. It's not like I did this for you guys. Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. Yeah, me. Someone. Don't fuck with me. Enough with this bullshit. Just spit it out already. Where'd you take us, you bastard? Um, Though I am not certain of my memories, I believe we entered the ancient ruin and... In other words... It means... I made this Host Peak Academy between the door of the ruin and the inside of the ruin. Mm. What do you mean, in between? Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean, made? What's this? Oh my, are your minds getting the grum bullies that only knowledge can satisfy? <laughs> good. Very good. It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's my, my nature to provide a little entertainment. Entertainment? You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way! There's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you're making life exchanges or anything like that. Shing. It's just a simple graduation exam. <gasps> then, what is the graduation exam? Hey! Um... Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. Are you sure about this? But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay on the outside world. So... That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island, or stay here. Huh? We're obviously gonna, gonna get out. There's no way we can stay here. This is annoying. Just hurry up and let us choose. Let us choose right now. No, no, no! We can't do that. The main cast hasn't arrived yet. Main cast? Hey! Um... Meaning you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives. The guest of honor. So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start researching the outside world. What do you mean? Uh -huh. I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research through at Hope's Peak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... <laughs> all of the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. <laughs> so, please rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killings was finished, he was still the same as usual. Um... W what is going on? Outside world? Main cast? Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey! Like, he kept insisting that this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. But, but that's impossible, right? What are you saying? How do we make it back to Hope's Peak Academy from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible. It cannot be! There is no place for Hope's Peak Academy to exist on Jepperwalk Island. <laughs> I said I wanted to go back, but I didn't want to go back to a creepy place like this. What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on the island. This building is really Hope's Peak Academy? This is the Hope's Peak Academy I've been admiring for so long? What in the world is going on? Damn it, why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Hope's Peak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I... Wanted to become Hope? Is that what you're... Th if that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? Ugh. You were just some nobody from the reserve course who had never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot who he was a nobody, that's all. If I really am a nobody, then you should have just left me alone. Why? Why do I have to go through something like this? Um, Hajime, did something happen? Huh? Hey, bastard! Now's not the time to zone out. Sorry, it's nothing. Um... I don't really get it, but... 
Is that all? I'm gonna do it! As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Hey. Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um. If you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Jeez. Even so, Jiaki and Monomi are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit, which means... The Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. You serious? So they're not World Ender? Then we really were tricked by Monokuma. However... The Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monami never once denied that. Damn it. Even if there are allies, they might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on our own. Chiaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation. But if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been big, a big help. Hmm. So what should we do? Damn it. Well, it's obvious. If we're gonna get out of here safely, we have to do the graduation exam, right? So annoying. Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez. Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? All right. I'm gonna do it. Prepare yourself. Like... Yeah, we might be able to learn something about Hope Speak Academy, about ourselves. Uh... I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey! Hey, we can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? <laughs> if that's the case, let's all leave this island alive by any means. Of course! Hell yes! He's right. Now's not the time to be moan about how unlucky I am. Where this place really is, what happened to Hope Peak Academy, none of that matters. What's important is I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. Monokuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. So why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should already know that we would never choose to stay on this island. Hey, hey! So what are we going to do? Can we start already? Hmm. What are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird-ass building? Even so. I don't think we'll find the answers to our questions inside this damn building. <laughs> well, I'll just go ahead for now. Whoa. Hey, you're really- you're already going? Jeez. What is that idiot thinking running ahead without being cautious? Man. She obviously isn't thinking about anything. However... It will be fine. There are no longer any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. All right. So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. If we stopped at the green light, we'd never reach our goal. Jeez. Nakane already yeah. took off on her own. Might be faster if we split up and look around too. Huh. Like Sonya said, if there's no more killing, we don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> then let's get this over with and go home. Later. I'll go on ahead. I'll see you guys later. With those brief words, Fuyuhiko left the gymnasium. Excuse me. I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonia took a deep bow and then left the gymnasium. Oh my. Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia. Please don't leave me. I'll be in danger if I'm left alone. Kazuichi chased after Sonia, who had just disappeared and left the gymnasium. I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more and it's going to end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual, peaceful, everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand, and that's a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it as far, I'm definitely going to go home. Investigate. There is no daily life. Oh. Okay, I'm collecting. Yes, it's glitchy. Something, something's weird. There's some sort of glitch thing going on. Okay. What the? Huh? This, that's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but it's clearly different. Is this Monokuma's doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not going to fall for his trap. There's no one. There's no way this will make me back down. Um, this hallway is. There is a strange feeling to it. No. As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. I am concerned. Is it just me? No, they're not invisible either. Oh, I don't like this. Alright, I'm gonna go to the morgue. Or not. Okay. Raw. Oh, that hurt my eyes. Um... Okay, I can go to the dojo. Um, 
Oh, memories. Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. Cool. Hmm. Hmm? What's this? Is this a manga? The title is... Manga for Morons, A History of Hope's Peak Academy by Monokuma. Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title lying out in the open like this? <laughs> Let's start with history first, class. Hey, um... Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then what's the first, you ask? That depends on the person. What about the second? So just as I thought Monokuma made this, that totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really want to just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. And it's an introduction to Hope Speak Academy history, as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. But to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders in various industries. New students are chosen throughout a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hope's Peak Academy's teachers, who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hope's Peak Academy isn't just a school for talent, it is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope's Peak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with the research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system. The Reserve Department. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the reserve department utilizes a general entrance exam. Normal, normal faculty was hired in place in charge. Mm. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the reserve department. The expenses and exam fees for the reserve department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope Peak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Hope Peak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope Speak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But just when they thought that everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly cancelled in the middle of its run. Plus, these phrases mentioned in the end of this manga, the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. These names are so melodramatic, there's no way these incidents really happened, right? Well, this manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but... No, it'd be just a waste of time to wander about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something because of this manga. The reserve department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of those reserved of course students, right? But hold on. That's weird. Oh, you're here again. Ching. Ah, the thing that's weird is you, of course. Huh? Hey, hey! Why did you forget that you were part of the reserve department? The Future Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? So I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that too. What do you want me to say? By the way. Based on my assumption. The Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those reserve course students. I got it! Or you willingly sealed those memories yourself. Huh? <laughs> you wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, something they erase their, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. <laughs> it happens pretty often. Not that I know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault? I forgot. Are you saying it's my fault? I forgot. That's not it. Come on! When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a reserve course student. Damn it, what the heck? Reserve department has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. That target seemed pretty far away. If the production team had any more time, there would have been a mini game here. Wait, what am I saying? Oh, ho, 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 you jackass. Is this monitor sort Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't even realize what I was clicking. An armor and, it's armor and a helmet. Did the map developers design this to reflect the Japanese dojo? What are you talking about? Why are you breaking the fourth wall? Um, this cherry tree, tree is in full bloom. It may be a tasteful sight to see a blooming cherry tree inside a dojo, but in this situation, it just looks bizarre. 
Is this the same thing? The cherry tree is proudly displaying its full blossoms. The petaling petals add to the elegance of the scene. If Yoko and Pekko were here, it would have truly looked picturesque. For their sakes as well, I would definitely go home. Oh, I'm glad I looked at that. There's a straw post. I guess that means it was used for training. There are a bunch of wooden lockers here. Each of them is a traditional looking wooden woodblock key sticking out of them, so I guess they're just for show. There's nothing in particular that looks like a clue. Used to be. It's gonna be a different floor now. Yep. Oh no, fifth floor, okay. I read old building and was confused. Um our other rooms now. Oh, hi Kazuichi. What's going on? This hallway, it's kinda creepy. I can't go to places where I should be able to go to. It's like some rules being enforced for no reason. <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall or something. Yep. This room's available now. This is another manga. It's lying on top of the desk. Um, this one is a manga for morons. The Tragedy of Hope Peak Academy. Huh. Wasn't the Tragedy of Hope Peak Academy mentioned in that other manga too? It's why Hope Peak Academy went bankrupt and it was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. If I read this manga, will I be able to learn a little more about that incident? I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages. To see what I could learn about the event known as the Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated, stylized drawings to begin characters solving mysteries. What's written here is... As the name suggests, the Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy occurred at Hope's Peak Academy. The key player in that event was a student named Izudu Kamakuda. Oh, that was the name of the, um, uh, the headmaster that was in the funhouse. Izudu was a genius known as a symbol of hope. Hope Speak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Izudu was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents. Is that who Nagito was talking to? Welding superior talent for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Izudu as the ultimate hope. To protect such a rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Izudu's origins and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Izudu's, I Izudu's existence. But Izudu, who is known for the, as the symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. Thirteen students of Hope Peak Academy Student Council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izudu. However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Izudu's superior talent and concealed the incident as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That student uncovered what the Academy did, and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of observed course students who had long been dissatisfied with how they had been treated. And the uprising began. And that heralded Hope's Peak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Who is that student? Which one is... Okay, so... Was that student Junko? Eventually that incident would lead to the horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Work cited Danganronpa slash zero. What? I'm so confused. With a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. A am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> what irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident, a talent like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. <laughs> Oh, you should be lucky that you're incompetent. Damn it, he always has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously pisses me off. But ultimate hope. Nagito mentioned that before too, but it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagito said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izudu, it simply means hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. Here it said the reserve force students in the reserve department began an uprising. Then what about me? Was I a participant too? No, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. Tragedy of Hope's Peak has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your head handbook. Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, but the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was that? And who's this other student that isn't Uzudu? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage? Who was that? This incident is really messed up, but it's all doing a, all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just keep piling up. Wait. 
Is this going to be the same thing? The clock doesn't have any hands. What time is it right now? We can't stay outside, so I don't even know if it's night or day right now. Yeah, they do that too a lot. Okay. Where can I go now? Ah. The bio lab, where all the buddies are. What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here. It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I just hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. This looks like a plastic tarp. Why is this left out like this? Clean up after yourselves, will you? I'm sorry, it was used to drag a body. I've seen this in movies before. It's a refrigerator for preserving dead bodies. At least that's what it looks like, but that's not possible, right? Keeping dead bodies in a high school at Biolab isn't just something you should joke about. I feel so forced. The ASI idea should have been cancelled during development or something. Well, what am I thinking? Hello. Oh, did I miss one in the other room? I hope I can go back. Um... Oh, wait, what's that? Aha! No. I found this guy. I hope I can go back. Oh god. No. No. This thing. The book. There's another manga just lying around here. This time the title is Manga for Morons, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? Just what was that incident really about? It might turn out to be something lame. I flipped through the pages of the manga and hoped out I was right. Hello? A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in t horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? Grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the reserve course students that triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students, and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was, indi it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then it was too late. The end and the means had vanished and the wanton destruction be became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear as if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people were, would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etat... Oh, I don't know how... Coup d'etats? D'etats? ...began occurring around the world, a war waged in the name of despair. A war fought for not, not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress into such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization. Devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak Academy. A group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope's Peak Academy talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they use them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. And the powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? This is definitely all made up. 
I mean, if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent in the local and the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What's happened to them? Hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? H who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh my, you don't like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Enough. What is this messed up manga? I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but... For you to not remember that... Such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though. Thanks for th thanks to them for... St thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. Th this incident really happened and I, I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. How, how many... How many times do I have to tell you all the clues here are real? Please understand I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of the wor outside world, you guys will suffer for it. <laughs> I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island, or stay here. He's trying to make us build a spare towards the outside world, so we will want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. A spare like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Or perhaps, no, it's definitely it. Tragedy has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? If they're devoted to a certain student who guided Hope's Peak Academy to this destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as ultimate despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they were actually able to do it, then I guess that, that, that's why they were called ultimates. Then, are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? It's no use. I'm going to freeze to death. I'm at my limit. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Phew, that was close. I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? What's available next? Not that room. That room. Okay. Classroom 5B. Okay. No, I should ignore it. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see him. What? What? Hiya. Why, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasantly well. Are you pleasantly well? You're pleasantly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no. Well, there was nothing I need to tell you on this floor. I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you the for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up, what did you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about the key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. Surprise, it's about ultimate despair. Huh? <clears throat> Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, Actually. it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive, Junko. A, a high school girl? Yes, Lady Junko Inoshima. Junko Inoshima? Hey. As the former Ultimate Despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor, and created the Ultimate Despairs. <laughs> there was only one horrible person in that group. Don't fuck with me. Ho hold on a sec. I don't know what the Ultimate Despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. Hey. That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in position to neutralize the threat? Then what was their purpose? What? Like I said, did they cause that? In Why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There is no way they could do that without any purpose. It was Junko Inoshima's despair. Huh? For Jinko Inoshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. 
despair is what defines Junko Inoshima as Junko Inoshima. What are you saying? I'm a step plushie. Hajime is human. It's exactly like that. Junko Inoshima is so full of so is full of so much despair that she is truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving, for her, everything is despair. What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despairs by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. The idea had been slammed right into their minds. And so, the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko Inoshima. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children. They're dedicated all despair so that they could escape from despair, all in Junko Inoshima's name. For example, they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. That there's no way someone that something is that crazy is possible. What? Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Hope Peak Academy? Final days? In other words, Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the reserve department? Of course. They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs, and they believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so the 2,357 students of the reserve department all committed mass suicide. M mass suicide? What you say? All 2,357 students? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded. Oh, huh? Is that... Me? Damn it. I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate Despair, Junko Inoshima? <laughs> it doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Junko Inoshima is already dead. Huh? Ultimate Despair has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Reserve Department has all been updated in your handbook. Tell the check the Truth Bullets menu to review it. Okay. What's up, Fuyuhiko? Hey, hey, Fuyuhiko, is it true what you said? Junko Inoshima is really dead? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons, Killing School Life in that Bloody Classroom. A Bloody Classroom? No. Wait, what was it you said about the Killing School Life? Like the killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened at Hope's Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to oh, defeat yeah. her. That's what it was. The killing school life ended up falling in the end, failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey. For a manga about killing school life, it was run with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind that failed killing school life was Junko Inoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Inoshima is dead? Like... It turns out the killing school life was part of that whole biggest, most awful whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of formal students and Hope Speak, uh, Hope Speak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope Speak Academy and she took away their memories? That's just like us. Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. <laughs> There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? Oh. The students of Hope Speak Academy were widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival. One a little southern there, sorry. They were trying to fill everyone who watch the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. But the messed up plan was stopped. Junko Inoshima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, she took her own life. And Junko is no more. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason for fear to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Junko Inoshima isn't alive anymore. Then, who is our enemy? If Junko Inoshima is already dead, the rest of the ultimate despair is behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we were involved in resembled that killing school life. <laughs> well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... <laughs> an imitation is just that. An imitation. No shit. If the students from Hope Speak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But if this really is an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? The cameras all over Jabberwock Island? Are they broadcasting to somewhere just like the surveillance cameras during the Killing School Life? Killing School Life has been added to the Truth Bold section of your handbook. Ultimate Despair has been updated in your handbook. Check the Truth Bolts menu to review it. Man, Hajime, you totally know about that story. Uh huh? What? You have a problem with that? 
Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since it took the time to draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh. One step at a time, you're getting close to clearing my character route. You're not making sense again. Well then. Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside world and the inside. Yeah. I'll raise them flags like crazy. Alright, leave this room. Uh... Huh? It changed to a different hallway again. It's so sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that. I'm not going to be surprised. That's right. There's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Uh, what about my vision going blurry? How, how, how about that? Okay. Well, let's see what Akane has to say. Akane's twitching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what happened? Based on my gut feeling. Well, you know, it's just my gut, but I feel like someone's getting oh, getting closer. Huh? What do you mean? Who? I don't know, it's just my gut after all. But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but her gut must be correct again this time. Okay, can't go there. Oh, I can go in here. Can I run around? No? It's nice to be back in the school. I like it. The music room. What is that? This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. I can see a few strange things. Is this the music room that Fuyuhiko's sister got killed in? It's a very nice grand looking piano. It might be very valuable. Ibuki might have been able to play this. Did, did she die right there? Okay. That's just the camera. Alright, I don't know if I should look at the monument or the hologram first. Maybe the hologram. Wait, what is this? Words are floating in the air? This is like a hologram, right? I think this is some kind of simulation. The floating letters are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, it's possible they might be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko Inoshima rallying them. In a worst-case scenario, we must prevent a repeated repeat of the killing school life. Also, if they are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origin and we haven't located them either. We will continue to investigate this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors of Hope's Peak Academy? Fifteen students? Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki, who was part of the Future Foundation, there's definitely fifteen of us, but... What do survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore, maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we lost. Academy Survivors has been added to the Truthful section of the handbook. The monument. Looks like some sort of monument. Why would there be a monument in a music room? And not just that, the markings engraved on the monument are, is the symbol of the Future Foundation, right? Below that symbol, there is a short, short passage engraved. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy were among the many students who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy? Uh, are they known as World Ender? This is complete. Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up. The Future Foundation's origins have been added to the truthful section of her handbook. I guess that's all the clues in this room. It's finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the great graduates of Hope's Peak Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko Inoshima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email, too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? The only former Foundation facility... The only Future Foundation facility we found was the Ancient Ruin. There's no way that that's the research facility. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other Future Foundation members here. 
Somehow, there are still so many mysteries. Okay. I'm not a fan of black stuff in my face. I get that enough in real life. Don't need it in the games, too. office. Room with all the flowers, right? Yeah. This feels different from the classroom. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. No. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I, I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy going to be obsessed with Sonia? Give it up already. Seriously. Oh, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Huh? Are you serious? I am. Uh, there should be only one more now, right? Alright, there's a hologram. Huh? There's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? List of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters, just below that. Is that Yoko? Our names I've seen before. It is. Why is hers in the newspaper? There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Hyoko Sionji is written there. What is this newspaper? She looks way older. What is this? It says Miss Hyoko Sionji. This can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. She was pretty much her defining feature. It was pretty much her defining feature, sorry. But the photo, photo in this newspaper, in a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but or her height and figure. It's too different from the Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? Huh? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Sionji here. Uh. Oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the first, same, and last name. I mean... That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Yeah. Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong. She doesn't have an older sister. Yoko is the Sionji family's only daughter. Hmm. If she doesn't have a sister, then a relative? No, there's too much re re resemblance. What are you saying? That's Yoko. Huh? Of course not! What are you saying? Yoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure. She even got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a girl spirit. What are you saying? She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a gross spurt. <laughs> Today, I'm feeling white. White? Well, regardless, all the clues I've provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? Well, what the heck? Is this the truth? If this is the truth, then Yoko in this newspaper. Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Yoko when she's already dead? Why... why does this exist? Hey, hey. Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad. If it says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Yoko's body? Oh, what am I saying? I Just saying it out loud makes it so messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. List of subjects has been added to the truth bold section of your handbook. Oh, there's that Ukulele again. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name it's on the placard says Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakuda. Founder of Hope's Peak Academy, and his name is Izuru Kamakuda. Isn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. Unless he was named after the founder because he was an experiment that was created. The Academy's founder has been added to the truth bold section of the handbook. Maybe that's how old they look because of the experiment, and that's why Hyoko looks older. Oh, because it's a simulation, so maybe our Hyoko wasn't the real Hyoko. Maybe. I don't know. Flowers on top of the desk? Plus, they look strange to me. Are my eyes just tired? I mean, do they look pixelated? It's because they do look pixelated. There are letters floating in the air like the music room from earlier. 
Looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess I should read it. We, under we understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best to continue your, res your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning their immense of despair. Even though they have just lost, even though they have lost Junko and Oshima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko and Oshima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of the shining future. Immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is an order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much an all-out war. And so remnants of despair are the ones waging that war. There's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Remnants of despair has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, with this you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Yeah! Congratulations, have you may? Shall we now go on to the next we sh you shall now go on to the next stage? Next stage. So it'll be the different floor when I leave. Yep, third floor now. Oh, jeez. Damn it, not again. The hallway is different from last time. I guess then the flag Monokuma mentioned is raised. I'm moved to a different hallway than last. But how can you do that? No, oh, now's not the time to be confused by that. Because that would be the perfect time to be confused by that. Thinking about it's just gonna make waste my energy. Uh, alright. The library? No. No. The... Oh, which floor was this? I think this was the one I hated. I think there's something over here. No? Okay, never mind. It's the third floor. Okay, I don't recognize this at all. Oh, okay, it's the third floor, the one with the, the rec room, yeah. This is where... Um, Sakura died. There's a billiard, billiard table, a dartboard, and a shelf lined with magazines. It's hard to think in a room like this actually exists inside a school. It's a file with Hope Peak Academy's seal on it. It says confidential. That means this is a big secret, right? Why would an important document be here? Why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the file. About Ho the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Hope Speak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The, Hope's cu the Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth the true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate dedicate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms that I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope's Peak Academy was behind something like that? I don't really get it, but there was something about these words. True hope. Huh. Hope's cultivation plan has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It's a nice firm looking leather sofa. It looks like it'd be comfortable for anyone to sleep on or die on. <clears throat> oh, they're still missing the bottles, but oh wow. Oh, I can't look at it in there, so. There's a lot of different magazines here. Fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, sports, computer travel. There's even a magazine about cameras. My heroes would have been happy to see this. There's a dartboard, but this is still a school, right? Or did Monokuma just randomly make up this place? No, oh, it's a school. This hologram again. What does this one say? It looks like another email passage. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we were successfully in, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been, it's been reported that some of are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others, so we've decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter, and we have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Remnants of Despair has been updated in your handbook. Take the truth bullet section to review it. 
The Academy Survivors has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth bold section to review it. It says here that they have succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? Then why is this happening? If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? Well, I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation was set up this all up. What's this? My, my, Hajime. If you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse. It's your fault. What is this hologram thing anyway? Hey, um... It's exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here to get them. Here and there. <clears throat> you can't even do that? Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many talents. No, no! Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. There's no way that's not important. This true identity should connect any everything to what's happening right now. Okay, well they said that the person, Izudu, I'm pretty sure it was, was obsessed with having with was obsessed with talent. And if the person controlling Monokuma has many talents, then they're probably Izudu. Alright, I think I'm done in here. Second floor. Oh my god. Looks like I'm in a different hallway again, and it's upside down. I'm pretty much used to it by now, but even so. What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is just totally disconnected from reality. This is definitely a simulation. Oh my god. What the frig? It smells... it, it's close. It's very close. Someone is coming. Akane's no twitching her nose and examining her surroundings. Based on my gut feeling. They're definitely real close. At least, that's what my gut's telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Let's see. My gut feeling is... They're both! Yeah. He's right, they're both. Both? What do you mean? You. I don't know any details yet, it's just my gut after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Okay, I gotta find a door. No. Oh, this is headache-inducing. Oh. Oh, the library. Okay. This must be a library. Monokuma probably left something here, too. I should hurry up and find it. Nothing over there where the laptop was. Or the friggin' thing I've read over and over again that was right here. Just the hologram this time. Okay. This hologram again. It must be another one of the Future Foundation's emails. I should read it. There's no doubt it's another clue. To Future Foundation's 14th Division, Makoto Naiki. Yeah, my boy Nakoto! Makoto! Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing is what you're doing is serious act as a serious act of treason, do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's happening to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. I immediately returned to the, the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of the future filled with hope. What does this mean? This email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is addressed to Makoto Naegi. Oh, I thought it was addressed from Makoto Naegi. Makoto let them escape? And he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? Email to Makoto Naegi has been added to the Truth Bold section of your handbook. What happened to Makoto? Remnants of Despair has been updated to the handbook. Check the Truth Bold section to review it. That can't be it. There's gotta be more, right? No? Okay. There was a room over here. Yes. Okay. I'm in the laundry room, which is not on the second floor. Didn't I walk into a classroom? I don't I don't really get it, but um this looks like the laundry room. There's no use worrying about it, but I was in a school and now I'm suddenly in a laundry room. They were in the dorm area now. This should be my last one. Yeah, I should start a circus. I got a trophy. Thank you. When do when do I get my prize? Okay. Tablet PC. Alter Ego? This looks like a tablet computer. It looks like the power's on too. Is this the next clue? 
I picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. Alter Ego. Neo World Program. Oh, this is the thing they were talking about. Neo World Program? This world. This, <laughs> this word, Neo World. I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. The Neo World Program has another name. Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator! Simulator! I knew it, it's a simulation. The Neo World Program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the Neo World Program, individuals such as the ultimate programmer, all that some uh, Tohiro, the ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist, I have no idea who they are, were among the many talented people whose research results were utilized. By mounting a device to the cranium, the World Neo Program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Additionally, the Neo World Program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world though the, through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing this, uh, in bra treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. That's what Chiaki. Oh, no. Gundam was so himself that he couldn't be freaking altered. But everyone else seemed to change drastically in the trial. Maybe that was why. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world program. A feeling of emptiness, like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. And desperate, the desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing until all I feel is... Despair. Ah! I screamed loudly as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. I'm starting to accept that. This, this... There's no way. Something as crazy as this actually exists? Nice! You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character route. <laughs> now the end of despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up? Including me, too? Neo World program has been added to the truth bolt section of your handbook. Oh, we're in a computer program. Nothing is real. The world is a simulation. We're nothing but playthings for a higher being. Hi. Oh. Hi, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the killing school trip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. Hoo hoo hoo. You guys are the only is watching ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Looking forward to it. Poo hoo 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 hoo. Jesus. Oh. This hallway. When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but... Oh, fuck you. Thank you, thank you. No, no. Oh, this hurts. Oh, it doesn't look anything like it did. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Sonia. Are you familiar with the placebo effect and the nocebo effect? Yes, the placebo effect, not the nocebo effect. Huh? <laughs> the placebo effect is when your health improves after taking a fake medicine that you believe is real. And the nocebo effect is the exact opposite, which means as long as the human brain controls all other bodily functions, <laughs> if the brain believes something is real, it will become real. Why would you bring that up all of a sudden? Huh? Oh my. Um, I am not sure. I do not fully understand. What the heck? Oh, they're breaking down because they know that it's a simulation now. It only works if you believe in it. Oh, hi, Monokuma. What the fuck? My head hurts. <laughs> the moment you discover the truth is a lie, all hope will despair. Disappear. <laughs> oh my god. Is this not the classroom Makoto started in? Big object. Warning, object matches name. No object matches name. Warning, the renderer 
currently active tab, the currently active tab, registering renderer, renderer will not, phone into port, update renderer, UI, okay. Even if I know what time it is right now, what good would that do me? Is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something this, this big would be floating like this. Well, I mean, the pool table was floating in the rec room. But what in the world is it? And the moment I look at the object... It turns into a door! It's the door I walked in. Error, no identifier link. <gasps> Welcome. Welcome to the Neo World program. A person? A floating person is talking to me? Is this Chihiro or is it Alter Ego? Who, who is it? No, is this even a person in the first place? Um, I'm not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego! That is the name my master gave me when he created me. It can talk. But what are you? Alter Ego Artificial Intelligence Program? I am the master program behind the Neo World program. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the Observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence, in fact, my existence is one that you don't normally need. I'm sort of like an apartment manager or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I lack the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has affected everything. I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. Oh, hold on! My brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it, it's that feeling from earlier again. It's floating, floating, like my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like I can't feel my feet or the ground, like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? Tell me, what is the Neo World program? The Neo World program has amended the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detailing Jabberwock Island, where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I am to answer your question, where is this place? The answer would be mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances, for example, this school you're in. It appears this place is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you, too. However, with, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World program. Most of its words. I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There's no way for me to acknowledge it as the truth. It would make much more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying that this world is a fictional world? I feel... I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality, all the mysteries, all the truths, they're all just fiction. Isn't that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World program used for in the first place? The Neo World program serves only one purpose. It is used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you can say it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope? But the fact that we're here and the fact that we don't have our memories, that's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory is the first step toward replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World program. With the installed, with the installed memory control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you set it to. And from there, you upload the memories obtained in the virtual world. Removing memories of any time period you set it to? So Monokuma was right, we did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me, too. Booting the program on the survivors of Hope Speak Academy while it's still in its experimental stage? I'm sure there was a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world. I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? That's the only thing I can think of. It sounded like we're just lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us. But they're trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? Um, I'm sorry, I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable. I did not say those words out loud. I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All those new words make my head feel like it's about to explode, like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the Observer and the virus? Well, 
For this session, the new program was programmed to host 15 people, along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah, they were disguised as a teacher and one of the students. Usami and Chiaki. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all, but the observer in the student role was not. They weren't given any special authority at all, so they seemed the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the roles they created, there is no risk of abuse. But because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but the functions is, is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it stole a portion of my abilities, which contains my authority to build the world. It was like it was a grandmaster chess player. And I desperately tried to fight its back so that it wouldn't have complete control. But even so, a portion of the world has been modified at its convenience. She's probably talking about Monokuma Rock in the Funhouse. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the Pocha Foundation created. I can tell this, that just by communicating with her. Which means that this supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses this Alter Ego? If so, does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it, what the heck? An artificial intelligence waging an attack against another one? That's so freaking irritating! But how did that virus infect the World Neo Program? The Neo World Program exists in isolation. It's possible it was infected through a, through a network. I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it to the main computer where the Neo program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's most likely what happened. He was brought to the Future Foundation's facility? But the only person who could, be en who could enter the facility is someone who was a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that I, what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? Observers has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Neo World program has been updated to your handbook. Check the truth bullet section to review it. Ah, but it's true that the virus is powerful and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it. But I'm still able to defend the essential areas. So it has a limit too. A limit? If it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Um, as such, in order to admit the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Hey! Okay, uh, even if you're just a god in the machine, that's enough hints from you. So you're gonna say something more. Suppose that you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to... The defluxation based on the definition of existence that consists... Situates the relationship. From there, the paradigm changes results by being cut off rapidly and causes a situation where your own existence is unobservable and accelerates and crosses with the joint ownership of the world and the situation from the context invites you. Death, 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 Okay. Makoto! What the heck? What just happened? You're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Maybe he can't hear my voice from this side. I'm currently talking to the world and through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video feedback has been pretty distorted. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? The things you guys were forced to do, we were forced to watch it. Forced to watch us? I really want to save you right away, but because of the virus's interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, the person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But Alter Ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. If this means it's working, 
and it means that the person I need to talk to is right there, I hope. It looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just who is this guy anyway? Is he our ally? Since there's no time, I'm going to say what I need to say and believe you're listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. But that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it was too late. But it's not just the virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, I was unsure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us? What did you want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam ground, right? You know, 11037, Leon, the thing Sakura used to save Makoto from dying instantly. 11037, that's the number I found at Mizumi Castle. The door to the ancient room was supposed to open after you all finished gathering the Hope for Fragrance. <clears throat> from there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the change, chance was slim, I thought an observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left that 113037 password, or I'm just going to say Leon from now on, in a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. I never thought Nagito, who saw it first, would erase that password. Anyway, I'm also the person who set that password to that number. That number contained a secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I'm entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they are going to crush you with their despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. D does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In a worst case scenario where an observer who is the role of teacher goes rogue, I've prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the forced shutdown sequence. Forced shutdown sequence? Even the teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this so that you guys can choose on your own, independently of the observer. Okay, what is it before we get the connection? Which means that if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys can win. However, in order to start the force shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, I need to somehow get that number as Shish Baba the death. Death. Death, 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 death. Hmm? See what? What was that just now? Hmm? Hey, Hajime, what was that weirdness just now? Nothing, really. I see. Anyway. Oh, well, anyway, that's all the hints you're gonna get. If that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useless stuff, <laughs> I'm gonna butt in again. Did Monica not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but it was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see. It'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I had with that guy just now. You guys have a weapon. A very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might so that you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best. Oh. But what do we have to do our best at? A mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth, but what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working towards a conclusion that nobody wants to hear, but still, do we really need to work hard and still do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything was a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings, too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all that be meaningless, too? When the world has flipped over and becomes so irrational, what am I supposed to do? Leon has been added to the Truth Bullet section of her handbook. Shutdown sequence has been added to the Truth Bullet section of her handbook. So there's nothing else in here? Okay. Oh, not this again. Okay, thank you. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? Sure. It's time for the long-awaited graduation exam! Yay! Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy! Yes, sir, Mr. Bossman. <laughs> See you soon! 
will I see you soon? Like the real you? Because Junko appeared in the last one. So is whoever it is. I'm going to place my money on Izuru Kuzu Kamakura. I think that was the name. I think it's them. A red door, huh? It's just a waste of time thinking about what all this means right now. For now, I need to finish this. I need to just focus on that. Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Thank you. Okay. It means this red door, right? Do I just have to go in here? If I do that, will, it be, will this be finished? What? Whoa, I can't turn. I can't move other than forward and back. Okay. Oh, I feel like James Bond. Doo -doo. Okay, it's less James Bondy now, it's just code. Okay. Let's go. Getting closer. I can run. Cool. I should have tried that sooner. Running into the light! <gasps> Blue sky. Oh. Class trial ground one. And we're back here. Huh? This place. Yeah. Looks like everyone's here. Damn right. It seems that this is gonna be the final place. However, this place is. Is this a trial oh, field? Why is it a trial field? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um, we've been here before, right? Yeah, this should be the place that the door at the ancient ruin leads to. Hey. Huh, it seems pretty strange that we've been in that other building up till now. Damn it. It's like we're dreaming or something. If this is a dream, then this too is very... Welcome! So you finally arrived. Congratulations, you guys are the first ones to ever beat this game. <laughs> After stopping by Hope Peak Academy, you finally come back to this place. Yeah! With the graduation exam site within the ancient ruins of Jabberwock Island. Mm. You can give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but it's no different than the trial ground from before. Mm. From before! Mm. This trial field is actually inspired from... It. This trial field actually inspired the one from before, so in a way, this place is the original. Hey, hey. <laughs> Who cares? This graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course! If that's what you guys decide. Huh? And if we have to decide, then what do we get? What do we have to do? Now then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please take a look at the LCD touch panel built into your seat. Compared to the other trials, the rules are much simpler this time. Yes, indeed. There are two options: graduate and repeat. Right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All you will, ca all of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. If you don't press either of them, there will be a threat of as, as an. It will be treated as an absence, and it will not be counted. In other words... Which means everyone who has died up until now will have their votes treated as absences. Then... The result is based on a majority vote. Hmm. If graduate is chosen by the majority vote, from there, the event that's kind of like a graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. <laughs> uh, even if we do this stupid majority vote, the result is already pretty damn obvious. Come on, let's move this along. We can press it now, right? No, no, no! You can't do that yet! <laughs> I mean, your resolve hasn't firmed yet, right? Your heart- You will be swept away by society's harsh currents. Shut up! Shut up! Who care- How the hell cares? I'm gonna press it. What's this? My mind, which of your orifices are you using to spew bile? To participate in the graduation program, you need to- My final say is your teacher, you know. What does this mean? It, does this mean it won't end with just a majority vote? That's right! After the vote, I'm gonna judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. Damn it! So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Well... Um, I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. No way! You don't have to worry. There's no way I won't acknowledge your graduations. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because that's how it has to be. He's doing it because that's how it has to be? It doesn't mean he can't... It doesn't mean he can exert his will over everything. He too has a limit. Is this what Alter Ego was talking about? Anyway... If you don't want to do it, you guys will still need to do... You guys still need to do it to solve the mystery. Afterwards, you can cast your majority votes, and from there, we move on to the graduation program. <laughs> but why do we have to go through the... Why do we even have to go through something so dumb? Hmm. Well, that is... You said... You said you were willing, waiting for the main cast, right? Mm -hmm. Which means you're just stalling for time, then. <laughs> Who's the main cast? Hmm. Oh, no need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. That is... There, there is no way it has nothing to do with us. We are the only ones who are involved, you know. So annoying. It doesn't matter if, it doesn't matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in the big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. You pissed me oh. off. Hold on. What's that? What's with that chump comment? I can't ignore that. 
Uh, I just not like it. It's not that it's important or anything, but make sure you turn off that toy. I won't forgive you. How, how dare you treat him like a toy? What's this? I did treat it like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything. <laughs> You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. Just how promising can you guys be? I guess this is just the nature of life. <laughs> Fine then, before you die, sear my power into your memories. 